Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you some movie reviews, um, it's not exactly how I was picturing to do a movie review, this is actually a little bit different, I'm just gonna actually mix this a little bit smaller, uh, but yeah, so basically what we have here is kind of a little bit of a different, it's a movie review. It's a review, but it's a little bit different. This is a kind of exp being a more to what the what the Pokemon is the Pokemon company is doing for uh, a certain Pokemon. Now, overall, this movie was fucking amazing. Let's just let's just, let's just bring that part. Let's just put that part out there for this twentieth movie. The movie was fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Because, one, knowing the fact that I'm gonna give you that good part about what this movie was, it was amazing. Granted, it was amazing. It was amazing. This Pokemon movie was amazing. The only problem I really had an issue with with this movie was the fact that they kind of made it short because they were trying to get to the straight to the point of what the movie was about. I get it. Go ahead and do that. But it wouldn't be a Pokemon movie or at least a you know, a, a walk through memory lane just because of what or whatever. So uh, basically, I'm not gonna go further into that because there is gonna be spoilers with this movie. Uh, I should have it on there at that mid title, it's spoilers, but I'm not gonna even go that route because, again, there's so many things that happen in this movie that I feel like, man, they could have increased the length of this movie. They could have just increased the length of this movie. But again, they didn't do that. So now the reason why I'm gonna go off on why they didn't increase the movie, like probably give it more information about this and this going tripping down memory lane, is one they didn't have to literally go off of how every little episode how it was through the anime. They didn't have to do it like that. They could have changed it up regardless. But for like at least the three battles that he achieved, the three, um, I guess the three Pokemon gym battles that he achieved to actually win, they only show one gym battle. Let's just be perfectly clear. Uh, and if I missed a part, that they showed the other two battles, then fine. I'm I'm clearly missed the part. I kind I, I feel like I didn't get to see the part where he gets the first two gym leaders. My bad. But if he did get those two other gym leaders, and it showed him getting the other two gym leaders, then fine. But I was expecting more gym badges, battles in this entirety. They literally skipped a gym. That's what makes me even more concerned about this whole entire thing. They actually skipped the gym and went to Erica's gym. Here's the spoiler. They went to Erica's gym and he's like, oh, I already have three badges. I'm like, you're like, you're my third badge. I'm like, okay, well, what the hell? Did he just skip? He didn't go the same route or something and he just skipped the whole into a whole new route and says oh, I'm gonna go to Erica's gym and beat Erica and now I have my third badge but I didn't get the against uh, a Lieutenant Surge or something like because you know Lieutenant Surge would have been his fourth match his fourth badge entirety of this game he literally just said I'm gonna go walking through Misty's gym beat Misty and I'm gonna go down. I'm not gonna be able to against the uh, the psychic gym leader. I'm just gonna go here, walk to this other city, 
Bow Erica, who's going to be basically the third gym, and then go to Lieutenant Surge being the fourth gym? Was that how it's supposed to be? Was Erica supposed to be the fourth gym? I mean, the third gym leader? Because if they would have made that, because if that, that would have made more sense for us in the actual game itself, that that's where Erica should be the third gym leader because she was like the, at least the sec, the third second, second person who was close to getting the next gym badge in the first place, not Lieutenant Surge. But again, it's anime or whatever. They want to do with the movie, they want to do with the movie. Uh, it just kind of like, that was, that was the bad, that was just the bad instance of the movie. Now, why I have Pokemon Sun and, like, why do I have Pokemon the first movie up here on my side of my face here? And also the fact that it's right by the Pokemon I Choose You movie is there is a scene in this movie now I'm gonna try to see if I could grab a picture of it let's see mm. there was a scene in here it was this very very particular scene in here that kind of kind of just remind me of what happened in this movie right now I'm gonna grab the scene right here, save it, there we go, ba bam, bada boom, bada bing, yada yada yada. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, grab this image, put it up here. This very extinct image. So, you see this image, right? This is a very important image in the Pokemon anime, the Pokemon movie, the Pokemon franchise and series all of this this thing right here this is what made the movie such a very emotional game where Pikachu starts to cry and whatnot because of what happened to Ash this was a, a very upset emotional movie this is the most part this part right here was the most upsetting movie at all time it was just an all time you know feel movie but since this is a reboot telling of the story of Ash and his Pikachu even though you get to travel to memory lane they did another scene exactly like this in the movie but this time Ash does not freaking go through the whole I'm gonna turn to stone issue Literally turned to stone issue. This is a this is a uh, basically um um what you call it? What would be the word to as a uh, pay tribute to the first movie? I give them that. It's a pay tribute to the first movie. Now here's the thing. What I it was just the thing about this part that was paid tribute to that first movie that got me so like, oh, they're gonna do this. Basically, they had him where it's, um, what was it? They have him trying to protect Pikachu. And during that instance where he was trying to protect Pikachu, because Pikachu was weak during the move in that whole entire scene, and Ash was kind of beat up as well. Uh, during that time, Pikachu was so beat up, Pikachu can't even fight anymore. He can't do anything. He's trying to protect Pikachu. He's trying to get Pikachu in the Pokeball. He needs Pikachu to stay in his Pokeball. He needs to just have it in his Pokeball. So. During that instant, Pikachu actually completely talks, completely just talks like a human talk to Ash and says, the reason why I'm not in my Pokeball is because I want to walk side by side you. Walk side by side by you to grow. 
to grow. And that might be exactly what my words were to what his words were in that movie, in that scene. But it was almost the same. He literally wanted to grow with Ash through the whole adventures and scene. See everything that he sees throughout the adventures. To grow with him throughout the adventures. This is why in Bird Keeper uh, Toby, Toby basically explains that in theory this is why Pikachu has has his own personality. Literally you can see that Pikachu has his personality. He's more unique than any other Pokemon that's in this anime. He literally has a mindset or he has his he's basically he knows his surroundings. He knows who he is as a Pokemon to everybody else. He knows where his strengths and his weaknesses are. The reason why Pikachu always goes easy on certain mods is because he knows that how strong he is compared to other Pokemon. Yeah, that's a very bad choice, but and to specs to how Ash is, you know, how Ash is is basically try to have fun, try to, you know, not be too powerful, but, you know, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. He teaches you that through the whole adventure is win is a win, loss is a loss. You need to build up, get stronger, and achieve again to try to win. Pikachu shows that example as well by doing that. Overall, during that whole time, Pikachu does get into his Pokeball. I was kind of shocked about that. More shocked than the fact that he was able to talk to Ash and tell him his situation and why he doesn't get into his Pokeball. And it was just, oh, that was, that's heartwarming. But afterwards, he gets into a situation where uh, all the Pokemon shoots out their power moves onto Ash and Pikachu. Once Pikachu officially got into the Poke the Pokeball and got protected, Ash is gone. Ash is gone. Ash is gone. He's actually laying on the ground in that exact same position or in that exact same position, right? And Pikachu looks over when he like just pops out of the Pokemon and looks over and it's like, oh, what the heck is going on, right? He tries to grab the hat, walk over, and as Ash is just laying there, you can see he's kind of like not in, in, he's like in the limbo or something like that, where he's kind of like disappearing. He's being like, you could pretty much go through him, basically. You could just, like, put your hand right where he's at, and it'll just go through. Like, he's in ghost mode right now. And during that instant, it's like, wait, is the Pokemon company actually going to go this route with the movie? Where they're going to use that exact same scene, but make it a little bit dark? Because, one, Ash is completely dead. Ash is dead. Ash is just fucking dead. And during that instance of this, un, under this, like again, like under this, under this situation, once uh, uh, Ash was about to finally go to the point of being nowhere, like gone, like completely gone, Pikachu tries to put the hat back onto Ash, and then. <laughs> He's gone. Ash is gone. The hat drops. Pikachu starts to cry again. Same instance here. During that whole whole situation with this scene, with this particular scene, he just completely cries. And then next you know, they go to another scene where Ash is in this 
whole like other universe where he's like in a passing like he's about to go be in heaven or whatnot but he ends up in that grayish color like grayish black color and I'm guessing they're still trying to use that reference right there for him like being into that grayish color so it's like okay well he hears Pikachu and he starts to run and walk because he's in a field of grass because it kind of reminds him of when they were journeying out into that field of grass so Pikachu is still crying he's trying to call out to Ash and Ash is like trying to call back out to Pikachu they hear each other and they start getting to the point where okay there's gonna be shimmer of light from the the living world and it looks like he's trying to come back so it's like okay in that instance okay Ash is gonna come back right he's gonna come back he's running he's running he's trying to get to Pikachu Pikachu start peering up in his world and whatnot and they keep running and keep running and then next you know the the little energy gets a little bit bigger and spreads out a little bit where Pikachu ends up going ahead and runs into that light to grabbing Ash and Ash grabs Pikachu and it's like oh my buddy and then everything just like went like oh my gosh now he's back and it was just it was a good you know honoring this scene this entire scene from the first movie to this 20th movie I like that I like that and it I feel like in this instance even though they were paying the you know paying their respects to the first movie on this it seems like it beat that sad moment in that I mean it feels like it was even but I feel like what they did here made it very emotional in the 20th movie they made it even more sadder than this in the first movie and that's what blew my mind cuz I man I was about to tear up I'll admit that I was about to tear up I literally thought I was gonna tear up because of this movie and that scene it was just like wow heartwarming it happened it's there it is it's there I'm about to tear up that just happened it just happened but overall good movie uh, I will definitely give it a I will say a I want to say give it five but I don't want to give it a five because again I feel like the movie could have been a little bit longer or at least show a couple of more fight scenes and with some gym leaders maybe just a little bit hypothetically maybe it needed to have a little bit more gym leaders in it but I can't give it a a half I can't give it a half I want to give it a 5 out of 5 I'm just gonna give it a 5 out of 5 because again it was the fact that they brought this scene again where it's in the first movie to put it in their 20th movie it's very heartbreaking when you know that there is death in this in this entirety of the movie it's like it's sad. It's very sad because it's like anime's not trying to, like Pokemon is not trying to pit out there where oh there's no death, there's no death in you know in that in that world. But there's a lot of death in that world because there's been instances where they show multiple episodes of anime showing there is death in this show. Can't avoid that. And they're trying to tell you you cannot avoid that yes there is happiness in this world but yeah there is that point where there's self-sacrifice and you might die it's bound to happen you can't avoid it sometimes I mean, it's staying true to being real it's like that's the whole thing about it and then you got the again like I said the whole factor of the US or whatever I'm, I'm not trying to get into that political sense of everything but it kind of 
does make sense for that political sense to be factor into this uh, anime or anything like that. That's why they try to bring down the fact that oh, anime is too gory, anime is too you know violent, anime is too this and that. But it speaks on a notion of they're trying to be clear of you can't just clean this up because it doesn't look right for you or it doesn't look right for the parent to see you watching it it shouldn't be that way you have to understand that yeah there is things that you shouldn't see because you are a kid but there's things here that makes you think on your life situation a lot where you know what you were doing was wrong in that sense and you might need to do something to make yourself better in that situation so again i'm definitely giving this five stars out of five a five out of five rating uh it just it mind blows me how they just make this whole entire scene for the last point of the movie as the same as this other point in the first movie as the last point of the movie scene and good thing that he was able to come back alive and battle the legendary bird ho ho so it's like okay well it's cool he didn't get his memory wiped out it's cool you know he was able to meet other legendary Pokemon and battle the legendary Pokemon. He was able to meet two out of the three. So that was cool. And then the fact that one of his friends that he was traveling with has a mother who's the le who's the Elite Four uh, the Elite Four member being the champion is Cynthia. So on top of that, that's even cooler as well, knowing that they put that into the actual anime movie as well. So, again, I'll give them a hats off to that. I'll give hats off to that. Again, 5 out of 5. I feel like, again, overall, it was one of those things where, man, the movie could have been a little bit longer, but very sad moment in Pokemon history. I think this is like the second most saddest thing in Pokemon history to the first movie. This is the second saddest most thing that happened in Pokemon history. To have Ash die again in another movie but the reboot version of it. Uh, tell me guys what you guys think about this uh if you guys watched the movie as well, I'm pretty sure because it was only for here on Monday and Sunday. I watched it on Sunday. I'm pretty sure most of you guys watched it on that Monday being today that I'm recording this Monday. So if you guys already watched it, uh, tell me how y'all guys think about the movie because oh my god, again, like I said, it was a very emotional movie. It brings you back to the memory lane of the show and then it brings you up to the point where it's like oh it just had to bring us back into the fact that this is the movie based off the first movie of how Ash completely dies and then comes back because Pikachu wanted him to come back and it just like mm, the feel you know the feel of that notion just heart warms just really heart warms you so uh again oh man see you guys i i, I don't even know see you guys sorry bye